Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to set up our water system for the chicken coop and then uh, we're also going to uh, dig a little trench and bury a, uh, the live wire from the, uh, the bear fence on this side with the chickens over to the uh, garden side and start installing the, uh, the, the electric fence on the garden side. So let's, let's get to it. Alright, so let's get the show on the road. Uh, I've got a one inch um, uniseal bulkhead and that's going to take a one and three quarter inch uh, hole saw drill. So I'm going to go on the opposite. I bought a, a barrel with a spigot so it's easy to drain. But I'm going to go on the exact opposite side of the spigot. We're going to go right here. all right here we go so this thing here's just got uh, a little thing with a lip on the end and that's just presses in inside there like that and then when you stick the pipe in it also swells it out a little bit to make a firmer seal all right so what we got here is a two inch um, uniseal bulkhead uh, and we had to use a three inch hole saw for it so let's see if we can get this thing in here without completely wrecking it okay there's our game plan uh, if you're doing this this is not thick enough to put one of these uh, rings on just FYI uh, but all we wanted the ring on for was to keep mosquitoes out and bugs and stuff so we're just going to tape this up these little cracks and then uh, it's going to serve the purpose that we want it to just fine there may be another thicker method to put that on there uh, maybe laying a board on it and then drilling through a board I'm not 100% sure but what I do know is is the plastic on this was too thin uh, so it cracked um, long story short is it's still going to work for us what we want it to do so let's get down and start hooking the piping up down below Let's go inside. All right, so what we did was uh, we I cut this to meet the inside of the 4x4 post. And then I cut these little blocks, and I'm going to screw these blocks in, and that's what this is going to sit on. It's pretty tight already, but, um, oops, sorry. I'm going to screw her in so it don't fall over if something happens to them. There we go. And then when we're all done with uh, getting everything fitted, uh, we'll toenail in a couple screws to the to the tops of these things just to anchor them to the four x four post. Pencil lead broke. Yeah. Watch out, girls. They ain't playing around. Okay. Hello, ladies.
this is the setup that we want. So it's going to come out. I got a quick release on winter time. We can remove this because it's going to be too cold. All that will freeze up. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to bring this up just a little bit where it's kind of centered on the, uh, that way we can fasten in um, our clamps to hold it in place. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much the ideal. Uh, let me get it all situated and then we'll be right back with you. All right, so we got our system set up. Now we just got to do the uh, the length of pipe that we want uh, to, to run these things on. And then we'll put our little watering cups in and that's it. All right, so let's get our first pipe set in place and we're going to screw it down as well. Get this out of the way. I'm going to lay down here with some chicken poop. <laughs> What's so funny, Mama? Our whole life is about chicken poop. Come on. You can do it, Bobby McGee. Once we get the screws, we'll put these guys in place here. That'll help out a little too. And so that's what uh, what we're using here. And they're just automatic. So basically when they're dry, they go up. When water, uh, when then it, it allows uh, water to seep into it. There's a little plunger inside here. When this goes down, the plunger goes up. So when it's full, it goes down and holds water. And then uh, when it needs water or when it gets light, it goes up which pulls the plunger out and allows water to go back in so our chicks love them yeah we've been using it on a little tiny jug and uh they they really love them and then i ordered these separate these don't come with it but they have they're the exact um they've, they've got the exact uh dimensions. the hole yeah the dimensions and the thread that you need for for these things and i'll put them in the description down below if you guys are interested in trying these out so we'll get it tightened on here there we go that shirt it up So I'm not putting Teflon tape on these. It comes with a little uh, rubber washer here and that's worked out fine for this. So I think I'm gonna bypass the, um, the Teflon tape and just screw these guys in. And if, if anything changes, I'll do another video updating on this. But so far the little jug that we've set up has 
for what five five weeks uh, it's been doing just great holding water and they love it they actually like it better than the other little um, water that we had set up in the beginning for like the first week mm -hmm. all right so we'll get the last one on and then we'll just zoom out and show you what it's going to look like all of them in a line so there we got four waters we can always add another water if we want to down at the end but uh that's basically the system the only thing that i would want to do that i didn't do because i didn't have enough space was i really wanted to put a shutoff valve on there but truth be told uh in the winter time if we're taking it apart for winter we're going to drain the barrel anyway so i got a, a quick disconnect so i can just unscrew that um take the barrel out dump the water and then we can just let all the all the um the water come out of this pipe here by uh, taking the end off all right so that's part one of the video then we're going to go start digging a trench here in a little bit all right we're going to go down and uh dig that trench so we can uh cross the wire from the chicken coop over to the garden so uh here let's get busy all right well that's it it stretches from one side to the other side we've got the trench filled back up so tomorrow we'll start putting the uh the electric fence back up on the uh garden all right it's the next morning uh let's get this fence strung up Alright, so we got all of our uh, insulators on, so now we're going to string the, uh, the wire through here and, and get this side hooked up.
this guy is like right on the shoreline i got my gopro so you won't be able to see him very well but i thought it was a gunshot there he is right there all right so we got all three strands of uh the uh, electric fence hooked up so now we just got to uh, connect the uh, two strands together for the garden and the uh, chicken coop and then we should be in business All right, now let's go hook up the other side. All right, so we got both sides hooked up now. All we gotta do is test it out. So let's turn it on and uh, get us a blade of grass and see what happens. All right, so I got my blade of grass. Let's give this guy a shot here. I got a float plane that's landing over here on a on a deserted beach. That's I've seen it I've seen it once before, but um, in five years this is the second time I've seen it. So interesting. It works. Let's give him a little a little zapparoni. I choked up a little too much on it earlier. And, oh yeah, man, that thing's that hits you pretty good. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this video. If you like what we're doing here, give us a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you want to see what we got going on, hit the subscribe button down below. We'll see you guys next week. Abby, 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 Abby. It's like we already have a second dog in the summer. <laughs> Isn't it? She's a good girl. <laughs> we have a second dog in the summer. Hi, chicks! <laughs>